Hey there, fellow time traveler through the realms of television history. Do you remember those days when we didn't have streaming platforms and binge watching was just a twinkle in the eye of the future? It's like we were transported back in time to 1976 when the TV series Alice graced our screens with its heartwarming and hilarious tales. Now, think back to those cozy evenings spent on the couch, the clinking of silverware in Mel's diner, and the unforgettable characters that made us laugh and cry. Wasn't it something special? So, tell me, did you watch Alice back in the day? What were your favorite moments, the characters that stole your heart, and the experiences you associate with this delightful show? Whether it's Alice's enduring optimism, Flo's sassy catchphrase, or Mel's gruff exterior hiding a heart of gold, I'd love to hear your memories and stories from that era. But here's the fun part. Did you know there are some fascinating random facts about the show that might just surprise you? Let's dive into the behind-the-scenes secrets, untold tales, and quirky anecdotes that made Alice more than just a TV series. Stay tuned for some delightful nuggets of trivia about this beloved classic. Now, let's uncover the hidden gems of Alice. It's time to journey down memory lane and explore the world of this iconic series, one tidbit at a time. Buckle up, because it's going to be a nostalgic ride through the 70 Seconds TV Wonderland. In the 1976 TV series Alice, there's an interesting story about the catchphrase Kiss My Grits. Originally, in the movie version of Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Diane Ladd's character Flo told Mel to kiss my honeydew. However, this was considered too racy for television, so they changed it to Kiss My Grits. This new phrase quickly became the catchphrase for the entire series, adding a bit of humor and spunk to the show. Another intriguing detail comes from the final episode titled Tha, 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 Tha. That's all, folks. In this episode, there are flashbacks that reference Polly Holiday as her character Florence Flo Jean Castleberry. However, the show doesn't show actress Diane Ladd as Belle, even though she portrayed Flo in the movie version. Diane Ladd was even considered for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role. It remains a mystery why the show chose not to include her in these tribute flashbacks, or explain the absence of Belle. Lastly, Polly Holiday, who played Flo, had an interesting parallel career during her time on Alice. She appeared in two movies, All the President's Men in 1976 and Gremlins in 1984. In both films, she played antagonists to the hero, showcasing her versatility as an actress. These tidbits shed light on some of the memorable and puzzling aspects of the beloved TV series Alice. In 1976, the TV series Alice emerged as a notable result of Ellen Burstyn's Oscar-winning success in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Burstyn's win propelled more women-centered movies and TV shows, and Alice was one of them. Diane Ladd, who played Flo in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, joined Alice in its fourth season as Belle Dupree. This character filled the void left by Flo, who departed to star in her own spin-off series called Flo. The TV series was based on a real restaurant located at 1747 N.W. Grand Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona, which was known as Mel's Diner from 1976 to 1985. Today, it's called Pat's Family Restaurant. You can still spot the old name, Mel's Diner, in Google Earth's ground view. So, Alice not only rode on the coattails of Ellen Burstyn's Oscar win, but also had its roots in a real-life diner in Phoenix, Arizona. In the 1976 TV series Alice, when Diane Ladd left the show, her absence was explained by having her character, Belle, finally sell one of her songs and move away to become a professional songwriter. This creative departure allowed the character to pursue her dreams in the storyline. As for the character Tommy, he was originally played by Alfred Lutter III. However, he was later replaced by Philip McKeon, who is actually Nancy McKeon's older brother. Nancy and Philip McKeon had the opportunity to act together in two episodes of the show before Nancy went on to star in The Facts of Life, where she is best known for her role as Joe Polniacek. Regarding the alleged trouble Linda Lavin had getting along with her co-stars, this friction is said to be one of the reasons why Polly Holiday and Diane Ladd left the show. The dynamics among the cast members played a significant role in the show's development and changes. 
These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on some of the decisions and transitions within the popular 1976 TV series Alice. It's intriguing to see how real-life dynamics influenced the storyline and cast changes. In the 1976 TV series Alice, Flo, played by Polly Holiday, was known for her signature catchphrase, Kiss My Grits. This iconic expression became synonymous with her character and remains a memorable part of the show's legacy. Vic Tabak, Diane Ladd, and Alfred Lutter III were the only series regulars in Alice, who also appeared in the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, upon which the TV series was based. Their familiarity with the source material likely contributed to the authenticity of their portrayals on the small screen. One remarkable achievement of Alice was its consistent popularity in the Nielsen ratings. The show tied with MASH in the ratings for three years, 1977, 1980, and 1983. This demonstrated its enduring appeal and the strong connection it had with its audience during its run. In conclusion, Alice was a TV series that left a lasting impression, thanks to memorable catchphrases like Kiss My Grits and the continuity of key actors from the original film. Its success in the Nielsen ratings over several years solidified its place in television history. In the 1976 TV series Alice, the favorite dish at Mel's Diner was chili. There was even an episode where Art Carney made an appearance, and Mel tried to market his chili commercially as Chili Con Carney. This humorous twist on the classic chili recipe added a memorable touch to the show's menu. And Alice doesn't live here anymore. The story is set in Tucson, Arizona, but for the TV series, the diner was relocated to Phoenix. This change in location allowed for more diverse storytelling while maintaining the diner's central role in the series. In the original movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Alice's husband was portrayed as violent and abusive. Flashbacks and conversations about him highlighted this aspect of his character. However, in the television show, this storyline was omitted. The decision was made to avoid alienating viewers and to focus on Alice's everywoman quality instead. These insights into the 1976 TV series Alice shed light on some of the creative choices made during its production. Whether it was spicing up the diner's menu with chili or adapting the story's location for television, the show found ways to engage its audience while staying true to its roots. As we bid adieu to the delightful journey through the world of the 1976 TV series Alice, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the personal connection you might have formed with this timeless classic. Whether you've followed the escapades of Alice Hyatt, Mel Sharples, or any of the quirky characters that graced Mel's diner, your memories are a cherished part of the show's enduring legacy. Perhaps it was the humor that tickled your funny bone, the camaraderie that warmed your heart, or the memorable catchphrases that became etched in your mind. Kiss my grits, or well, ding dang dong. These lines have a special place in the hearts of fans. Now, it's your turn to share your favorite memories, anecdotes, or thoughts about Alice. Whether it's a heartwarming moment that still brings a smile to your face or a character whose quirks you can't help but adore, your reflections contribute to the rich tapestry of this iconic series. Your connection with Alice is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the ability of television to shape our lives. So, take a moment to share your thoughts, and let's celebrate the magic of this show together. Thank you for sharing this journey down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until next time, keep those memories alive and keep enjoying the wonderful world of television. Warm regards.